Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to set up a new WebView project, basically WebView Android application, and also do test it using Robotium. So the part one is mostly uh, yeah I have the steps in Notepad. Part one is mostly getting the WebView application to run. So this is pretty much straightforward, like running any other Android application. So the second part is uh, testing the WebView application itself. So before we go ahead, go here, we should get the project from GitHub, which I placed here. So this is a sample app just used for testing purpose. This is the Robotium test, which is which tests the application in here. So first, I should go to my Eclipse. I've already imported my Android application. So let us run this Android application. Okay, it's running here. So when I click on go to google.com, it opens. Yeah, in the web view. So the important stuff what we should know before we start writing Robotium tests is what kind of package is it's using and what's the main activity. Yeah. So let's go to the filter here. I mean the log cat messages. Then search for package names. This this project uses package name com.myapp let's search for that come dot my app go down yeah so here we see that there was this activity started which is the main activity of this app so com dot my app dot main activity is what is what is the, that's what we, we are going to be using in my in our robotium tests so let's start importing the robotium test project go to this then take the URI from here just copy it okay put in your credentials store them okay import existing projects Okay, this is the test project we're going to download. Finish it. So it should download the test project. It has Robotium libraries attached to it. This is the source. So let's see the progress. Okay, it's done. So first let's run this just to see if there are any compilation errors. Sorry, did I run as a J unit test? Okay, let's see what's going on in the emulator. Did launch the test. Click on go to google.com. Okay, my test did pass. What was there in my test? so okay it did click on go to it did wait for uh web view element and tried to check if there was hello web view but there was no assertion so it didn't it didn't get anything so instead of that we shall have a test like this by text content go to the app and find out what's been shown what's shown here Click here. Okay, we see some content here restaurants, coffee, bar, fast food, etc. So, wait for the web element by the text coffee. Okay, you will wait for 10 seconds. Okay, once it's there. 
then yeah they should do it Okay, let's run this test again. Okay, it did cling on the text coffee. So it should be navigated to that. Okay, before it was done, it did now close the test so yeah as we could see it did click on the test so there are a few things you should be knowing before you start running these applications so don't forget to install this github plugin to into eclipse so that helps you get the uh, get the github projects from the eclipse then sign up to github so it, so that you have the credentials necessary to download the project then you might get a project uh, with the Android libraries so install this plugin here I'll be posting these links on my YouTube video then set the path for Android SDK um, let me show you how to do that window preferences Android then set the path of your Android SDK so in your Android SDK you should have the necessary libraries installed for the version of Android using I'm using gingerbread 2.3.3 that comes from here okay Android 10 and I did mention regarding the packages uh, regarding the activity uh, what's in from the main project so let's see where is it is okay I did I do mention my package which I'm testing here com.myapp which is the package name of this one and then my app test class has what's the package I'm testing and what's the main activity of the package that's being tested so these are the main things that should be configured while using the project so happy testing this was this tutorial was done by Thage if you have any comments leave below my YouTube video thanks for that have a nice evening have a nice day